Thank you. I now recognize myself for five minutes. I'll point out that uh, Chairman Gensler came before our full committee twice last year. He'll be, be coming before us, I believe, uh, later this year. Uh, more is better, but uh, we are certainly doing our job. Uh, the ranking member points out that uh, the SEC has a number of regulatory projects. I commend them for having those projects because, as the ranking member points out, we need clarity. Uh, we need cl uh, there. If anything, we need another uh, project, and that is to define a security, uh, particularly with regard to digital, uh, uh, the digital world. Um, I would also point out that investor protection is the very best thing we can do for capital formation. When we tell, it, it may be a hassle for the individual in, uh, issuer, but when we build a system where investors are confident, that's what causes people in this country uh, to invest in, in growing businesses. Now, uh, the first question relates to spring-loaded stock options. We, uh, uh, the SEC has analyzed these as to whether they are insider trading. I'd like you to focus on whether they are, in effect, a fraud on shareholders in their um, uh, uh, annual filings. They file statements saying that they have a stock option plan in which stock options are going to be granted at fair market value on date of grant. Well, if it's 6 p.m. before the, the next day you're going to make the big announcement and you look at the market price with the market not knowing about your upcoming big announcement, you can say, well, that's the market value because that, that's what ignorant shareholders uh, bought and sold the stock at. But the directors having and, and compensation committee, they got approval for granting the stock option at fair market value. They know the fair market value is going to skyrocket the next day because the big announcement is coming. Why is it not? Why are you not enforcing against spring-loaded stock options when shareholders are defrauded when those uh, uh, when they're told that uh, uh, the option will simply give the grantee uh, a share in future appreciation after option grant date? Thank you for the question, uh, Chairman. While I can't comment on specific investigations that may or may not uh, exist at this moment. I would agree that your hypothetical raises serious fraud concerns. Uh, the facts that you've laid out would implicate accounting issues on how those options are being accounted for, and they would implicate uh, disclosure issues. Uh, as you mentioned, what did the, the issuer disclose in its filings? What did it say about how it was I, I would hope you would go back and look at the many instances of spring-loaded stock options, particularly when in the headline, the uh, shareholders who are asked to approve these plans or made knowledgeable plans told that it's going to, the option exercise price is going to be fair market value on the option grant date. Uh, and then they may define fair market value as what the market closed at, which is usually true, except the market closed right before the big announcement. I want to move on to another question. Uh, you've gone after XRP because XRP is a security. But you haven't gone after all the major crypto exchanges that process tens of thousands, if not far more, transactions. If XRP is a security, and you think it is, and I think it is, why are these crypto exchanges not uh, in violation of law? And is it enough that the crypto exchanges have said, well, having committed tens of thousands of violations in the past, we promise not to do any more in the future. Is that enough to get you off the hook for enforcement? So, again, I can't talk about what matters we're looking at or not looking at. Uh, we have brought exchange cases. We brought one last year against Poloniex. Uh, I share your concerns that if the, the securities the, are... It, it's easier to go after the small fish than the big fish. But the big fish operating the major exchanges did many, many tens of thousands of transactions with XRP. You know it's a security. That means they were Ill illegally operating a securities exchange. They know it's illegal because they stopped doing it, even though it was profitable. So if they know it's illegal, and you know it's illegal, and I know it's illegal, I hope you'd focus on, on that. Uh, and then um, uh, finally, uh, we have Tether, which is broke the, a, a, mutual, a money market mutual fund in every way. Um, it broke the buck. Um, uh, 
Can you, I, I realize you're reluctant to talk about individual matters, but can you tell us why you went after Tara, but, uh, but not Tether? Again, it, it would be inappropriate for me to comment on who we're going after or not going after, but I, I understand your concerns, and we've added resources to our crypto assets unit uh, to, to look at uh, issues that put investors at risk, including the issues you've raised in your questions. Add fortitude and courage as well. Uh, you're going to have to take on some cases that you're not certain of winning.